Fury attack political parties wanted Pakistani artists out of the country. Bollywood is now divided over the stand taken by Pakistani artists. Actor Anupam Kher has hit out at the pro-Pak lobby questioning its stand on terror state Pakistan. It's not very easy for me to sort of say that diplomatically, yes, I will say yes, we should allow because I also believe that art has no boundary or no culture. But the least I expect from these actors or artists or anything, okay, fine, you come and work here, but at least condemn the acts of terrorism. At least say that, yes, I condemn, I feel bad for the country which is giving me bread, butter, fame, so many things. So that is not asking for too much. When there was a terrorist attack on, and 147 children were killed in a Peshawar school, I wrote an open letter to the terrorist. I didn't have to do that. But I think there is much more uh, a religion of humanity which needs to be observed. So I think and the government is to do whatever they need to do. But we as a certain uh, citizen of this country, we need to convey a certain message. But now whether ban should happen or not should happen, having said that I am a person for free thinking and free culture and art and cinema, but I also think that I am first an Indian. So my reaction as an Indian will be different from my reaction as a diplomatic person. There are these peacenikes in the Lutyens, Delhi, who you know believe that in spite of all these terrorist attacks, there should be peace, there should be uh, you know, a goody-goody relationship between India and Pakistan. There are some professional, uh, what you call, uh, Lutyens in, in our country professional people who first they don't have to react to a situation like this they are already with an answer you put a camera to them or you ask them to react they will first take a side of the of the Pakistan uh, people or uh, their establishment they are very we know that news channel anchors journalists senior journalists I was appalled that a senior journalist went into a Pakistani channel and basically said nasty things about an Indian anchor and I have a great regard for the Indian anchor. How low can you go? How low can you can go if jo apne desh ka nahi hua, wo dusre desh ka kaise ho sakta hai? Simple sa logic hai mera. And what about the initiatives of the Modi government in the recent times? After Uri attack, we have had a diplomatic offensive uh, on to isolate Pakistan completely. We've seen that in this water treaty is being reconsidered, reviewed, and on 29th, Prime Minister Modi is going to you know review the most favored nation status to Pakistan as well. So do you think the diplomatic offensive is working really? I think absolutely. It's diplomatic offensive is working I think we need to isolate uh, these people it's nothing to do with if if it was any other country and they were indulging in so much of uh, terrorism and so much of inhuman activities mm -hmm. it's very important uh, the fact that Prime Minister Modi talked about the Blochistan atrocities uh, the from, uh, the basic human rights uh, uh, thing yeah and that, that, that I think it's it's being uh, it's it's a great move. You can't talk about it in a great move in terms of sort of a great thing to do. But I think it's a very mature move mm -hmm. that the government of India is taking. That's the way it, we need to isolate them. We need to make them feel that you can't carry on doing that. Right. I personally feel war is never in, uh, is a great thing to happen because it kills people from both sides, mm -hmm. and human life is much more important than any issue. Mm -hmm. But yes. These kind of things, when we, I mean, also I think India has been very successful in bringing to the world um, map that it is Pakistan which has created the terrorism all over the place.